Welcome back. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Al Sakhir Palace, the U.S. Minister of Defense Lloyd Austin. On the occasion of his visit to the country, His Majesty the King welcomed the minister and reviewed with him bilateral relations and discussed ways to boost strategic cooperation. His Majesty expressed pride in the deep-rooted historical Bahrain-U.S. relations that are based on trust, mutual respect, and coordination as partners and allies, hailing their advanced progress in all fields in light of the mutual keenness on development developing them particularly in military coordination and defense cooperation. His Majesty highlighted the crucial role of the U.S. administration and its efforts in cooperation with allies and friends in maintaining security and stability in the region and promoting international peace. The meeting discussed the latest regional and international developments, including the situation in the Gaza Strip, the importance of achieving a ceasefire, protecting civilians and the release of hostages and detainees, as well as ensuring the humanitarian aid is delivered to the Palestinians in Gaza as per international humanitarian law. They also highlighted the importance of achieving a just and lasting peace in the Middle East and establishing the Palestinian state according to the two-state solution and international legitimacy resolutions as it constitutes the optimal means of enhancing security, stability and peace in the region for the interests of its people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace the outgoing ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty the King affirmed the depth of fraternal relations between Bahrain and the UAE, their leadership and people, and the mutual keenness to continue to bolster them in various fields, which stems from the historical ties binding the two countries. He noted the continuous development of cooperation, joint action, and fraternal coordination to fulfill the aspirations of the two countries and their people and achieve their mutual interests. His Majesty hailed the UAE's distinct set status on a regional and international scale as developmental achievements in various sectors led by its president, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al-Hayyan, is much wish the UAE lasting security, stability and prosperity. In recognition of the efforts of the UAE ambassador in bolstering bilateral relations and cooperation, His Majesty the King conferred the order of Bahrain first class on the ambassador. The ambassador expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for bestowing the Bahrain order upon him, hailing his efforts in developing relations between the two countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 110 of the year 2023, naming the Ministry and Minister responsible for implementing Decree Law 20 of the year 2002 with respect to the regulation of fishing, exploitation, and protection of marine wealth, based on a proposal by the Prime Minister and the following, and the, following the Cabinet's approval. The Royal Decree stipulates that the Ministry and the Minister in charge of marine wealth shall be responsible for implementing the provisions of Decree Law 20 of the year 2002 with respect to the regulation 
legalization of fishing, exploitation, and protection of marine wealth. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 111 of the year 2023, ratifying the Middle East Green Initiative MGI Governance Charter based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. The MGI Charter annexed uh, to this decree was approved on October 26, 2022. His Royal Highness, uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the outgoing Ambassador of the UAE to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan Al Nahyan, at Rafah Palace to mark the end of his tenure. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's dedication to further bilateral relations between Bahrain and the UAE, as well as pursuing mutual aspirations under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness commended the long standing Bahrain UAE relationship as well as the joint visions and strategic partnerships that characterize it. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan in advancing bilateral relations to benefit both nations and wished him success in his future endeavors. During the meeting, His Royal Highness and Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan discussed regional and global developments and opportunities for future cooperation. The UAE ambassador expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. The Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates its national holidays during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, who has achieved development and prosperity for the country at all levels. During the prosperous era of His Majesty, Bahrain launched many qualitative projects in various fields, made many achievements in all sectors, and strengthened its position on the international map. More in this report. During the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and the National Action Charter, the Kingdom of Bahrain made countless achievements in various sectors. Bahrain continued its democratic march by holding its 2022 parliamentary and municipal elections with a participation rate of 73.18%. Constructive cooperation and joint coordination continues between the executive and legislative authorities in the interests of the nation and its people. His Majesty the King's support of education resulted in developing educational policies and methods to the latest standards, and the people of Bahrain achieving excellence and distinction at the local and foreign levels in line with the requirements of the labor market. To create a comprehensive economic base, the government worked to implement the directives of His Majesty. The economic recovery plan came with its five priorities, increasing non-oil economic growth rates, developing economic and commercial activities, opening the Bahraini market to various investments, continuing investment in the oil and gas sector, and ensuring its sustainability as one of the priority economic sectors. The health sector also succeeded in providing the best services and health care to citizens and residents, overcoming global challenges, especially the coronavirus pandemic, in addition to providing the latest medical capabilities, equipment and devices, and keeping pace with the latest scientific developments in the health field. In light of His Majesty's support to the sports sector, Bahrainis have won first places in various international sporting activities, in addition to the Kingdom's organization of various sporting events. Thanks to the royal patronage, Bahrain made progress in achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals and combating climate change. The message of peace and coexistence adopted by the Kingdom has reached the world, in addition to the efforts made by the Kingdom in accordance with the directives of His Majesty the King to provide humanitarian relief and extend a helping hand to brotherly and friendly countries including Palestine and particularly the Gaza Strip. Thanks to the wisdom of His Majesty, Bahrain plays a pivotal role in the region thanks to its balanced foreign policy. This comes at a time when the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, continues to implement its ambitious comprehensive development process. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its Speaker Ahmed Limsalam. The Council approved a proposal on the government's instruction commercial banks to stop the increase of interest for personal and real estate loans that have been concluded previously. It also approved a proposal on the government's taking all the necessary measures to provide an automatic recognition device for boats and ships. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Tifa Zayani, met with the Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation, and Moroccan expatriates, Nasser Burita, on the occasion of the Minister's participation in the sixth session of the Arab Russian Cooperation Forum. They expressed pride in the close cooperation between the two brotherly countries in various political, economic, and security fields, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. Dr. Zayani stressed Bahrain's position in support of the Moroccan Sahara, which culminated into the opening of a consulate general of Bahrain in the city of Leon in the Moroccan Sahara on December 14, 2020. For his part, the Moroccan minister expressed pride in the strong fraternal relations between the two countries and the mutual keenness to develop and strengthen them in all fields. The two ministers appreciated the holding of the first meeting of the joint Bahraini-Moroccan consular committee in Rabat on December 6, 2023. Burita affirmed Morocco's support of Bahrain's organization of the first international conference on consular work in the first quarter of 2024. They also discussed the situation in the Middle East and the widespread violence and destruction in the occupied Palestinian territories in the Gaza Strip, stressing the need for the international community and active countries to exert more efforts to reach a rapid, comprehensive and permanent ceasefire and the entire and the entry of relief urgently, adequately and safely and without obstacles. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Engineer Wael Mbarak announced that the 11th edition of the Bahraini Farmers Market will open on December 23rd at the Bidaya Botanical Garden. Bahraini farmers, brands and craftsmen will participate in the market which coincides with Bahrain's National Days. Al Mbarak affirmed that launching the Farmers Market follows the directives of His Majesty the King to enhance food security and invest in it. The Minister noted that His Majesty the King's vision for food security is thoroughly followed up by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop the agricultural sector in the kingdom and encourage the private sector to invest in it according to the government plan and the National Initiative for Agricultural Development. Following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the distribution of 6,800 housing services to citizens, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning is continuing procedures to distribute housing services in Salman Town, East Hid Town, and East Sitra Town projects. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning Amna Rumehi stated that following the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Ministry began the inventory beneficiaries and uh, contacting the first batches of citizens giving them appointments to visit the ministry. She affirmed that the ministry is keen on facilitating procedures for beneficiaries upon visiting the ministry. Citizens are briefed on the housing project sites, its components in terms of services and features, the legal and financial procedures that precede the receipt of the housing unit, the mechanism for book booking appointments to receive the unit's keys, and the necessary guidelines for citizens' relocation to the housing unit. The procedures for implementing the delivery plan for housing units are proceeding at an accelerated pace to be completed at the end of next February. And the Ministry of Housing continues the procedures of distributing housing financing to citizens requesting the Tashil financing. The President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, received the credentials of Bahrain Ambassador to Egypt, Fawzi Zainal. The Ambassador Zainal conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the President and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to Egypt and its people. The President requested the Ambassador to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, wishing Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. Zainal expressed her pride in the bilateral relations, noting that these relations are witnessing an unprecedented development through close cooperation in all fields.